welcome back to the Skulk. Continuing the Rock Rockowin's story. The story of Rockowin. That that spells much better. <clears throat> so, to give the note. Even though this is me speaking to anyone in the future watching this, I haven't been recording as of late. Sorry. But anyways. But let's see. Is what? What are the buttons again? Oh, it's continuing on to the years. My wife's been asleep for months now. Do I? Do I just walk back now? I think I walk back now. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, we were gonna get tools. As I said, I didn't play this in a long time, so I'm trying to remember what we are going to do. Hey guy! Don't forget to come by my shop! I'll make you an axe! Hi, I was already on my way! This this game has berries. Do the cha cha, <laughs> cha cha item. Cha cha the berries. Uh, but this game has really good music. There you are. And look, I'm gonna get that chest beyond your uh, beyond your house. Oh hey guys, uh, thanks again for helping me get my tools back. Uh, my shop isn't fully functional yet, but if you bring me the right materials, I can make you an axe of all of your own. I'll need five camper sticks and three pieces of nightstone. I'm sure you can find those things in the area just out, uh, out east, uh, southeast the village. Okay. Got it. Hey, man. Hey, can I go? You two back again? You don't have to worry about us anymore. And why is that? We just went through Morzor's cave. We even got the blacksmith's tools back for him after they were stolen by angry spirits. Oh, really? Well, why didn't you say so? I guess you two can handle yourselves after all. After all. You're free to pass, but be careful. Signs are out there to warn you, and they're caring for your health. Cat crashes out the window. They're very nice. You should listen to Strat signs sometime. Unless unless they're just downright mean ones. That's a pretty big crystal. Where are you holding that? Hey mom, can you hold this for me? <laughs> okay. Cha cha. Do a cha cha. Ha ha, do a cha cha. Hey, what are you, can I not walk past the tree? <laughs> This game, this game is beautiful in in characters, in music, and a story. Definitely, a mild onion. Have you ever heard? Have you ever heard the stereotype that onions smell bad? Well, let me tell you, it's not true. Sure, I might have a few cousins who only shower once a month and their trash cans are overflowing with fast food wrappers, but they're the exception. For the most part, we smell rather nice. Oh, that's really, that's really, that's good to know. That's good to know. Cha-cha next to it. Stick pile. Got sticks. <laughs> I'm not gonna let that go. <laughs> that's funny. What you looking at? Mini Mori. Hi, I'm a Mini Mori. Uh, there are many of us that we all have a number attached to our name. Do you know what the numbers stand for? It's the order in which we came into this world. Ah. I'm glad I'm not human. 
hundred billion sixty-five. Yeah, I'm not even in the bigger digits. I'm just sixty-five after a hundred billion. Which are you? See a cha cha next to it. I'm not even looking at it. Are those spirit little orb things touchable? Hey, smug onion. What you want? I want to talk to you. Cha cha, do the cha cha, cha cha, do the cha cha cha. <laughs> I'm not gonna let it go, but I'll stop. Oh, okay, I guess that's all I can do here. Until I get away. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. Smuggin. It's a smuggin. And then I go beyond here. I can't go down that side, but I can go down this side. Aha, a stick. And a berry, and a stick. I'm gonna get the stick and the berries, and then talk to the bud. Hey, bud. How you doing? I mean, who hasn't done that? I said that before. How you doing, bud? Minimalist cave bud. The Liebels use the area south of here for their Star Night Festival. They get crazy. But you know what's really crazy? Being a slave to your possessions. You know? You know what I'm saying? It's overwhelming. That's why I decided to get rid of all my stuff. Except for my garden. I love my garden. It brings me joy. So if you're thinking, it feels bad uh, taking, what's that guy's box? He's standing right there, uh, he's standing right there. Don't feel bad. I don't even need it anymore. You know, it's tough at first, letting go of your possessions. But once you do, it's sweet, sweet freedom. It's not, it's, he's not wrong in some areas. He's not wrong in some areas. Having too many things can definitely weigh you down. You're just, you're just thinking about too many things. And I know! I have too many games and I'm just thinking, what should I play today? And I know that's first uh, first world problems. It's not really a problem. I guess it's... Yeah, first world problem. Don't even, don't even worry about it. It's my first world problem. I have too many games, what should I do? Well, it's true. We, we all can have too many things on our plate. And in this minor situation, what game should I play? I'm sure you have that same thing too. It's a relatable small first world problem. Sorry, the festival ground the festival grounds are closed until we get everything set up. No problem. I was just checking it. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to everybody, even if they're grumpy, because maybe they need someone to talk to. Yes, I am one of those people out there that want to see the most positive things in this world as, po as, as possible. Um, ah, I can. You'll need something to carry this in. You'll need something to carry this in before you can catch it. All right, Mom. But yeah, I like seeing the positive in things and people. I'm not oblivious of things. I have seen things. Everyone's seen things and heard things. Depends on what you prefer to see and want to see. Uh, want to be around, let's say that. You choose your atmosphere, and if your atmosphere around you is. <laughs> Don't like it. And you have to be there for reasons. I'm sorry. But it's an experience. Bad experience, but it's an experience. And then you can help others if they need it. Like uplifting thing, like, yeah, I've been there, don't worry, man. I, I mean, you worry, but don't worry too much. But the right amount, there's a certain amount of uh, worryability. Uh, but yeah, you can choose your atmosphere. If you're listening to too much bad music, playing too many bad games, movies, whatever, people, change your atmosphere, change your area. Find what's happy for you. And of course, make other people happy. Spread the joy. Ah, I see you found the materials for your axe. One moment, please. Doesn't take too long. I can just take like moments. Hope you enjoy your new axe. You received an axe. 
It works great on bamboo and other types of wood. In fact, why don't you go out and test it down the door up, up in there to chop it down? Feel free to, uh, to take what uh, take what you see inside. Why do you want a uh, Why do you have a boarded up door in your hut? Why not? <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> to tell you the truth, guys, I miss recording. It's been so. That's a battle axe, and that's a sword. And those things are way bigger than you weebles. And that's a sign. Can I talk to the sign? Yes, I can. Tool menu. Axe. Cam four sticks. Hammerstone. Pickaxe. Cam four sticks. Lumen rocks. Nightstone. Ah, uh, if only I had lumen rock. Then I can also do that. Oh well. Wow, your menu is very small. I'm sorry. I'm just making fun of the animations, not the story. The story is amazing. And the music's amazing. Alright. I wasn't sure if I can be a jerk and then chop down your bamboo pot. You found a cat's eye marble! We know a little girl that wants marbles. How'd it get over here? If it's hers. Bam. 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 Down 10G. Chopping this down. Don't worry. I'm getting rid of all the bamboo. Don't worry. If you if you hate bamboo, nope. Bamboo grows fast. I was told. Oh, sorry. We got, we got things to do in 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 other world. Don't worry. Oh, no, don't worry. I mean, money. Is that a melon? That's a melon. It's a flipping melon. In the cave. Where are you going? Whoa! Okay. Where's my friend gone? I can't sleep until I find her. I'm sorry. But can you teach me how to sweet jump like that? Can I, can I? I can't swim. Mom, why have you not taught me how to swim? I'm I'm like eight, seven, six. One of those guys. Yes, call my ages, guys. My sweet little baby boy ages. <laughs> yeah. Um. I can start chopping things when I come across it. Right now, progression. Let's go back. Let's go back to the main, uh, the main overworld. I believe that was here. No. Here. Yes. Gosh dang it. I'm trying to maneuver a boy. I'm trying to maneuver a boy. It's really hard. My, uh, don't worry. Your inn is, uh. I'm just walking into your inn. Your inn's kind of small. You have two rooms. Hey, it's easier to manage. Mom, back here is pretty scary. I'm gonna chop this down, okay? Found an amber. We got some marbles for her. We got some serious money too. Several medical books. Step ladder. Don't worry, we're never in any real danger. This is not a game where you can die. Can I just hit it? I can't say it's anywhere. Just because. Oh, hey. I'm very sorry about this, Winston. I just can't believe someone would do something like this. Stealing a wedding band from a com comatose woman. These are indeed desperate times. We will do what we can to try and find out who stole this ring from her. Thank you for your help, Doctor. I understand how busy everyone must be right now. So this means a lot. Of course. And if you could spare some extra blankets, it would be very appreciated. Stop yelling! I'm doing fine! I'm awake! I know they've boarded up the, 
the hole in the side of the bathroom wall, but there still is a very chilling wind coming through there. I'm very sorry about that, Winston. We'll send over some supplies. Thank you. I'll come by later to check on Gima. In the meantime, please take care. We blinked and everyone was gone. I'm sorry. I really need to make sure this gets finished. I'll come by your room later to check on you, okay? All right, lady. Did you get the coffee back in? I need to get some to old Grampy Grumps. <gasps> yes. You received a hot coffee. Is it in a warm section? Is it, is it nice toasty in there? Is that thing toasty? Because then I'm kind of worrying about the choo-choos. The peanut choo-choos. Which actually, I would love to have some peanut choo-choos. The granola bars. The peanut granola bars. You know those? Downright delicious. Oh, sorry. Wrong door. You? No. But, I can't open that wooden barricade until he stops looking at the wall. We're trying our best to patch things up after what happened, but we don't have the best materials right now. Yeah, be gone! Wait till night time! Come back then! As you can tell, there's, a still, uh, there's still a cold breeze coming through the boards behind me. If the patient in this room would stop trying to sneak into the area behind here, maybe we can get this wall fixed. He keeps taking construction supplies to his digging, uh, to go digging in the mud outside. I think he's looking for buried treasure. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Cut you off. Cut your supply of yawns off. Stop it! Oh, Gima. I'm sorry about all of this. Poor Winston. Oh. What is it, Mom? While we were while we're here, do you think Sue might like the cat's eye marble we got from Jackie? Good idea, Mom! I think she would look I think she would. Oh hey. You came back. It's good to see you again. I brought you something. <gasps> you brought me something? It isn't much, but I remember you uh, collect marbles. You see the cat's eye marble? Ah, yeah, of course. What am I using marble for? It's for her. Is that even an option? Is that even a choice? Why is it even a choice? This is a sweet story. Why would you ever decline a, a sweet little girl in love with marbles? That you have a marble that you don't need. If you don't have something that someone else could use and you don't need it and it makes them happy, why not? <laughs> it's Cat Planet. Cat Planet? Oh, I really missed. I really, really missed this one. It really looks like Cat Side, doesn't it? That's because the planet has lots of cats. But there's a surprising part. It has a lot of dogs, too. There's dogs living there, too? Oh, yes. People are always saying that cats and dogs can't get along. But that's just not true. I think you have cat's eyes. Yep. People always think that if they're different, then it means you're bad. And then they treat you differently. Like, if you don't like the same, if you don't, if you don't look the same, or if you don't have money anymore, even if it's not your fault, they treat you bad because you're different from them. I know, I know what you mean. But Cat Planet is different. The cats and dogs get along just fine. In fact, there's a bakery here that's run by cats and dogs. <laughs> that the cats and dogs make food together? Yeah! It's really good, too. They have pink donuts and coconut bread. I think I've seen things like that. I think they're called Liebels. <laughs> I love coconut bread. Never had it. I've had carrot bread. 
Carrot cake. Carrot. Coconut bread? Banana bread! Coconut bread. Just look it up. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure. You got another marble with you, don't you? <laughs> Why do you keep uh, snooping around our bathroom? Is there something cool in there? Can you keep a secret? I won't tell anyone. Serious face. You can tell. You can tell. Eyebrows. Seriously focused. I think there might be a door down there. A special door. Where does it lead? To a place called Morizor's Forest. I'm trying to wake up the guardian of the forest. So he'll grant me a wish. So you have secret worlds too? Like me? Yeah, I do. Mm, well, the shift leader's in the bathroom now. So you might not be able to look around for your door. Unless... Here, give her one of these. You got be a choo-choo! Thanks, Sue. She loves these. Good luck. Hey, lady! Hey, lady, I got something for you! Quit bugging me, kid. I've got to figure out how to fix this wall. Man, you're a little... grumpy. Man, they aren't kidding. This draft is chilly. What do you want to do? You see nothing. Oh man, you don't know how badly I was craving one of these. Maybe you should get yourself a box of them. Don't eat them all at once. Or do. It's a side effect of it. It's called, uh... Bad case of no teeth. Rock teeth. Pain teeth. And, uh... Achy stomachs. But hey, the tongue's happy. I love peanut choo-choo's. I guess I can go out and take a... Fiber to eat this. I need to regain my energy if I'm gonna do in construction work. Thanks a lot, kid. You just told me to get away and stop bugging you. If you know, if, if you keep in mind, if you see this little face, I might have a choo-choo on you, uh, on me, to get to you. Hey, mom. I, 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 can I? I can't look at you. Look what I can do. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> you on your way to Morizor's Forest? That's a that dude. Talk. Alright, see ya. Let me just smack it. Hi, is you, how's she, how about you? Is it really dark in there, or did she just not look through the bars well enough? Bars, wood, planks, anything. Just see an old man behind it. Was she? Did she know about the old man Uma? Oh, what a pretty ring! Uma! Uh, oh, 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 oops, time to rerun! It looks like a waddle. Uma! Mmm. Alright, we're gonna save here and then continue onwards. But, we should say hi to mom first. Hello, dear. How are you? I know you think the, uh, that math is boring, but if you look at math problems as puzzles, it becomes more fun. When I was a little girl, I used to do this, and suddenly, math homework became like a game. Actually, actually I kind of think of it as, uh, I, just, I think math is fun, depending on the type of math. There's some stupid math out there. But math is actually pretty fun for me. Anyways, thank you guys for stopping by. Until I see you guys again, have a great day, everyone.